Hi everybody, my name is Sophia and I'm here at the Escondido Public Library. Today I'm going to discuss with you how to do some great spin art at home. It's a craft we would have had at the end of May to offer the public, but now we have to abide by quarantine. So let's try to get crafty at home and share what we made together online. Let's get started. Now ideally you're going to want to use a box fan for this craft, but uh, we had one a regular fan lying around whose base broke, so I decided to upcycle it. Cleaned off the blades a little and removed this cap. We'll see if the flatter edge, flatter side of the blade will work for the flat surface we need to put down uh, paper. All right, let's make sure this still works. Yep. Alrighty. Okay, got one big box open on both sides. I'm gonna turn it over so that we can put the fan in. Let's see if this long stand comes off so that the, the this part will fit in the box better. like we got lucky and have a big enough box to fit this entire thing in with just the cord sticking out. All right, tape the bottom of the box shut, have the cord coming out the corner. Let's flip it over. We're going to tape up the edges here to provide more um, protection so that when the paint splatters, it won't splatter on the carpet. Putting it in the box this way, it moves around a little bit, so I'm going to have to secure it down with tape and maybe prop something under the back of the so I found out it was moving back and forth because the oscillator thing is still on. Let's turn that oscillator thing off, or pull it up, put a little bit of a paper under the bottom to stabilize it some more. Looks like now we can make a platform to go on top of the plate. Alright, I got this other box here. I'm going to cut the bottom out of it and then try to glue gun, put some glue on these, see if that works. Now I have this bottom of the box, but it's a little bit too big to spin around here. So I'm going to take the front of the fan and cut off these corners. Ta-da! So I put as much glue as I could on the middle here. We'll attach it and see if this cardboard stays on. If not, we'll try to add some supports here. I think it'll be fine. The great thing is that this is very soft plastic, so I don't really have to worry about it flying off and cutting anything. Please don't attempt this if these are metal blades. I don't know if fans are even made that way anymore. Be safe. Okay, so it still seems to be spinning fine. I taped up all the sides, covered little um, cracks that might let paint out. I taped the, uh, the uh, folded contact paper down. It's sticky, but hopefully it won't destroy anything. Um, other options you might try using are double-sided tape, which stick a little bit harder. Maybe um, make loops of the masking tape. That might also work. Or you can just um, use masking tape to tape the corners of what you're spin arting on down. Let's, that's a dumb thing to try. Mediums I'm going to try using today with the spin art um, include uh, paint in squirty bottles, which actually makes it a lot easier. Um, tempera in acrylic paints. Acrylic would be better for more um, longevity in the life of whatever you're spin arting. Um, let's try some ink, some nail polish, and maybe some metallic spray paint. Get creative. Okay, cardboard is on top of the contact paper. Okay, I turned it up to a higher, well, the higher speed number two. Center there. 
Let's see what it looks like when it stops spinning. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we put in another piece of cardboard. My coworker at a safe distance is gonna pour in some paint. The last time I did this was probably when I was in elementary school and I always loved it. Thankfully, the box seems to be keeping all the mess in the box. <laughs> all right, so we'll turn off the fan and see what it looks like. In better light, this is what it looks like. My coworker says it kind of looks like a dartboard, but with paint. I kind of see like a crane spiraling into oblivion. It's kind of neat. Other coworker is going to try. Let's turn off the fan and see what it looks like. So cool. Who worker wants to add some more colors? Oh, let me turn the fan back on. So we used new contact paper because that one wasn't sticking. Hopefully this will stick proper, uh, appropriately. And then you turn on the fan. And speed? Two, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
sometimes it's not perfectly aligned. Thankfully, it's not anything sharp. That's fine. No, it's not. Okay, Coworker got it working again with new contact tape. Let's see how it works with another frame. Just it on there. Yep. That one is actual mustard. That <laughs> 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 purple ink. Um, your shizzle. Spray paint adds a nice little machine to it. Oh, is that a safety on again? I don't know. No, it's good. Held up for one. <laughs> so still, you can still cover it more if you want. Yeah, I see it. Now that it stopped, I'm like, oh, I really like that. Oh, that's looking cool. And I can actually, I don't see white. You know? uh -uh. I can always stop it and start it back up if you want to see what it looks like. We'll make it surprise. Oh, the angle change. No, yeah. this is a border on it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what I did. Yeah, I got nail polish too, the glitter nail polish and oh. purple ink. Okay. Just seeing what it does. That would actually be cool. Yeah. Totally welcome to experiment. Are they liquid? Yeah, you just kind of do what you want with it. See, oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> or from the bottle if you want, whatever you like. So it looks like the various um, flat things we used worked really well. The uh, tray, which is only flat at the bottom, didn't work quite as well as I wanted, but you know, it's a little trial and error process. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial video and that you're able to create some awesome spin art at home. 
Um, tag us with your results. Let us know if it worked. Hope you have a great day. See you next time.